A Denver developer trying to restore a historic downtown Wichita building. He wants to transform it from an office space into apartments. It would create 74 affordable housing units just next door to the Orpheum. City Council members gave their support today. KSN's Derek Lytle caught up with the developer and a city leader on where they are in the process. Derek? Jeff, Julia, the old Farmers Bankers Insurance Building here in the heart of downtown carries years of history and it was built in 1925. The deal is under contract and that developer tells me they could break ground on a renovation before the end of this year. GM development principal Sam Edelson says the landmark building will be the group's first project in the city. That we think Wichita is an amazing market. We know it's in need of incremental affordable housing. And the Commodore and Shirkmeyer apartments in downtown both closing down, showing the lack of cost-efficient options. He says the vision is to bring 51 one-bedroom and 23 two-bedroom options for people who make 60% or less than the area median income or AMI to Wichita. 30% of the units at 40% AMI levels and will commit to having uh, all of the units at below fair market rents. Wichita City Council approving of a letter of intent for the city to issue up to $21 million in industrial revenue bonds. The city's backing will also help the developer's application for low-income tax credits. Wichita's economic development analyst Tim Goodpasture says the project is contingent on getting that bid from the Kansas Housing Resource Corporation to fund the renovation. They will sell those credits for, for instance, 88 cents or 90 cents on the dollar. So they get the money that they can use to put into their project. And whoever is purchasing those tax credits is saving 10 or 12 cents on every dollar in any tax liability they have. Wichita City Council member Maggie Ballard says this is a win for her district as more people will be moving into downtown for the new biomed center in the coming years. Not only are we restoring a historical building, but we're also addressing affordable housing at the same time in the core. Now, Edelson will find out if they are awarded those low income tax credits around July. This is a deal that's been in the works since last year. The realtor shares with me that the deal will go through after they find out if that bid has been secured. Here for you in downtown Wichita, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3.